Ich ist hier. Ja. Okay. Dann kannst du ihn nicht. Sadashi was a marum, Hamsham Karachari, Mutima, Musmadachari, Purim Tam, and De Guru Param Param, Shutishmati Prana, Namari, Kuruna, Limaman, Padam Shankaram, Loka Shankaram, Shankaram Shankarachari, Kisham Badarayanam, Sutra Pashikato, and De Vago and Taupun of Punaha, Yishiro Guru Ratmati, Murti Pedri, Hagini, Yumot Yapti, Hai Dakshina, Murtair Maha. Sahana Vatu, Sahana Vraktu, Sahavir Yankarahai, Tejasina Vati Tamastama Vidushavahai, Mum Shanti 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 Ubram Hanu Dati Puru, Hidag Chipra, Nuti Tasmita, Mukadev Matu, Chiprakash and Bukshurway, Sharana Mumprabati, Mum Shanti Shanti. The introduction says, Purvam Atma Shabdat, let's zoom in a little further, Purvam Atma Shabdat Jubhadhyayatanam Brahmai Chuktam. Then, the Purva Pakshi says, earlier, the Ayatana Adhara for Lokatraya, was said to be Brahma and the reasoning given by the Siddhanti was that there is an Atma Shabda, that Atma Shabda stands for Brahma, it cannot stand for Prathana and due to the Dharma which are discussed, it cannot stand for Jiva, Sharira Jiva Atma also. Therefore, Brahmatma is the meaning of Atma Shabda. That cannot be so, says the Puro Pakshi. Tanna. Why? He brings up the Bhuma Vidya from Chandogya Upanishad, where Narada Muni is the student and Sarakadi, the Rishi, the, uh, the Guru. So, Tarati Shokam Atma Vit Atma Vit Shokam Tarati. There is the section where Narad Muni says that I have heard. I have heard that one who is a knower of Atma Saha. Shokam Tarati, that person crosses over samsara. Samsara is grief, he crosses over grief, that grief is samsara. And attains ananda, which is the pursuit of each and every jiva. And there, the Puro Pakshi says that their Atma Shabda stands for Prana. In Shandogya Upanishad, claims the Puro Pakshi that the Atma Shabda there stands for Prana. Thereby, your interpretation of prana in the earlier section where the ayatana, adhara being atma, that adhara is brahma is wrong because that adhara has to be prana now. So, tarati shokam atma vidityatra abrahmani prane api atma shabda prayoga. This atma shabda is quite wide, it has wide usage, and just like. The Atma Shabda can mean Brahma, we do not say no, it can mean Brahma, but a Brahma also it can mean which is Prana in that section of Tarati Shoka Matma with Guma Vidya. Prana Api Atma Shabda Prayogat in the Prana meaning also Atma Shabda usage has been seen in Chandogya Upanishad itself. It is Akshepa Sangatye Damaha. Then Akshepa of Pura Paksha, raising such Akshepa. This Bhumadikaranam has begun. Bhuma Samprasada Dajupadeshat. Bhuma Samprasada Dajupadeshat. 
Bhuma Brahmaeva says this Uttarakara. That Bhuma where Tarati Shoka Matnavit, that Atma is taught as Bhuma. Bhuma is the limitless entity. Hmm. Bhuman. Bhuman Shabda is there. And that Bhuma is Brahma. Therefore, Atma there is also Brahma. So, Tarati Shokam Atma with means Brahma with, not Prana with. One who knows Brahma as Atma, that Sadaka becomes Jnani and crosses over all Shoka. Why? Why should that word Bhuma mean Brahma and Atma Shabda mean Brahma, not Prana? Samprasadhat Padhi Upadeshat. So the Padacheda is Bhuma Samprasadhat Padhi Upadeshat. So this Panchami Samprasadhat Samprasada Bhagavan Bhashyakara will explain means Sushupti. Sushupti Avastha. Uh, and in that Sushupti Avastha Prana is there. When someone goes to Shushupti Avastha, he may not know Prana, but if Prana is not there, in Prashna Prishita also there is a discussion where who is the greatest of the Devatas, even in Chandogya, who is the greatest of the Devatas, there is a discussion, Adhishtatra Devatas, those who are the presiding deities of the functionaries within the Sharira. In each and every body, there are some, there are many functions which are going on. Indriyas do their work. Jnana Indriyas, Karma Indriyas do their work. Bancha Pranas do their work. So all these, they are individually presided over by some deities. In Tattva Bodha, etc., there is an elaboration of which is the presiding deity Adhishtatra Devata for which Indriya Ityadi. So there, these Adhishtatra Devatas have a discussion as to who is the best among us, who is the most important. So each and, each and every one of them claims that I am the superior most, etc. This is a rhetoric to show Prana is Shrestha. Then finally, Prana says that I am the Shrestha Devata. Why? Because each of you can leave the body, the body will still survive. Without Chakshur Indriya, one can survive. Without one of the Indriyas or multiple Indriyas also, an entity can survive. But if Prana Devata leaves the body, the Indriyas and Indriya Devatas themselves won't survive in that body. So when Prana leaves, is about to leave, then itself they start suffocating and then they go down to prana and call him back. Even in Shushupti Avastha, the prana is keeping the body alive so that a person can get up, have Pratyabhijna that it is the same person that I slept yesterday who I am continuing to live today and that same jiva, samsari jiva, Effortlessly, the way prana has been ticking, keeping the sharira alive in Jagrata Vastha, it has also been retaining this body when I went to sleep. Because in Shushukti Avastha, the jiva disconnects from the stura sharira, meaning stura sharira resolves in sukshma and sukshma resolves into karana. So when the jiva is in karana avastha, Without other upadis, that time prana in bija avastha also is keeping alive the sukshma and stula, sharira. And others can see, there is an argument, how do you say prana is there, others can see. Of course, there is a flip side of the argument also, as to others see it does not make it real. So it is all mitya, prana keeping the sharira alive is also mitya. Jiva is completely resolved into Karana. He has nothing to do with the Sukshma and the 
सूर्य शरीर देयरफॉर सुषुप्ति अवस्था इज कॉल्ड नित्य नित्य प्रलय प्रलय हैज टेकन प्लेस ऑफ एंटायर संसार फॉर दैट जीवा एंड इन एक जीव आदा देयर इज नो अदर जीवा एनी दैट्स अ रसाइल सो प्राणा इज टेकिंग इन प्रश्न उपनिषद आल्सो प्राणा इज द ओनली वन हु इज नॉट करप्ट एवरीवन एल्स इज is said to be it's a rhetoric again is corrupt but prana is the only one who is committed to keeping the sharira alive so there is some sandarbha like that and in the discussion so prana is shreshta that has been established now puro pakshi says this prana who is very much active in sushupti avastha that prana is meant by atma shabda He is a shrestha devata, and that is Atma. But what does the sutra kara say? That Bhuma also, so Bhuma also, Bhuma there is uh, the there is sutra, Pani sutra, Bahor lobo bhujak bhoho. So the Bhuma shabda derivation is by from Bahu. That Bahu uh, it is a bhav pratya. status of something so status of being great be not great lot there is a lot bahu so status of lot mean the quality of a lot and how much is it basically there is no qualification by there is no uh, limitation by any visheshana therefore that stands for brahma brahma is also like that there is no qualifier limitation bringing in limitation to brahma so bruhi vriddho becomes brahman by derivation and how much vriddhi how much growth how big limitless similarly bhuman shabda is also standing for the limitless entity because there is no adjective which limits it so that is bhuma like atma भूमन शब्द विल ऑल्सो डिक्लाइन इन प्रूलिंग लाइक भूमा आत्मा आत्मानो आत्मानः सिमिलरली भूमा भूमानो भूमानः सो दिस भूमा भूमा शब्द स्टैंड्स फॉर ब्रह्म सेज द सिद्धांत ही व्हाई बिकॉज़ संप्रसादाद अधि उपदेशा उपदेशा ड्यू टू द टीचिंग व्हाट इज द उपदेशा दिस भूमा इज संप्रसादाद अधि it is adhi upari it is beyond and it is also taught later later after what samprasada samprasada is sushupti sthana where prana is active therefore this upadesha is of that entity which comes later or is superior or is adhi superior or so you can take compared to prana which is in sushupti therefore this bhuma is different from prana superior to prana comes later than prana in the teaching and that is the culmination of jnana siddhant this is you are right that prana is greater than others all that teaching is there it is greater than hope etc etc such teachings are there आशा आशाया भूयान सो देयर आर दिस मंत्रास व्हिच से प्राणो आशाया भूयान सो दिस प्राणा इज ग्रेटर देन आशा होप बट यू शुड स्टॉप देयर देयर इज फर्दर टीचिंग आल्सो सो व्हेन नारद मुनि सेज श्रुतम शिवई मे भगवत शोक पारंतारयतु सो यू दि गुरु should 
take me over this grief of samsara since i am grieving wo bhagwan so hum bhagwa socha me i am grieving that kind of grieving me hum mom ma is mom there <coughs> so bhagwan tarayatu param tarayatu kasya param shokasya param so that kind of me who is grieving he is a shishya and you the guru should cross me over from grief over the grief cross me what kind of me that kind of grieving me tam ha bhagavan shokasya parantaretu so there that atma shabda tarati shokam atma vit meaning i am not an atma vit i am not one who knows atma and you the atma which should help me know the atma and that atma is bhuma which is parmatma brahma further in the teaching it will be revealed as to what is this brahma it is bhuma ityadi so there the um, teaching continues as to uh, there are stages of which is you know superior to the other etc so the uh, first the name is discussed and compared to the name the speech is superior then compared to the speech the mind is superior <laughs> compared to the mind prana is superior and then that's where the teaching stops is the purva pakshi therefore this prana is superior but there is the teaching of something being superior to prana also pranad bhuya ha pado va pranad bhuya ha something which is superior to prana is also there and knowing that one becomes ativadi ativadi elsewhere can mean you know one who keeps on doing vada but here what is it ativadi because he knows everything therefore he is ativadi in the literal sense and this knower of bhuma himself is ativadi and if someone ask yesha tu ati vadati ha satye na ati vadati ti ativadyasi ti ativadyasmi ti bhuyan न उपन नुमीत सो इफ समन आस्क यू द नोअर ऑफ भूमा आर यू एन अतिवादी दिस पर्सन शुड नॉट शाय अवे फ्रॉम इट ही शुड एक्सेप्ट दैट आई एम एन अतिवादी ही नोज भूमा ही हैज भूमा विद्या एंड देन दिस पर्सन नोज दैट सत्य रूप भूमा व्हिच इज सुपीरियर टू प्राण दैट सत्य रूप Uh, entity which is bhuma superior to prana can only be brahma because the next mantra says there yesha tu va ati vadati yas satye na ati vadati through this satya he is claiming that he is an ativadi that person is a real ativadi he alone is an ativadi because his claim is based on satya that satya is brahma which is described by the word bhuma because in lakshana of brahma is satyam jnanam anantam brahma wherever there is satya that is brahma so bhuma is discussed in this manner therefore bhuma is satya which is brahma so this is the argument of the siddhanti so with this in mind let's look at the vritti atra purva pakshe prano upasthihi although we call it as bhuma vidya since bhuma is prana the purva pakshi says there is a prana upasana there prana is the upasya devata siddhanti tu brahma dhiriti phala bheda ha where as siddhanti says that neither is there an upasana meaning neither the uh, rather neither the atma shabda means upasana bhuma shabda means uh, prana neither the 
Bhuma Shabda means or Atma Shabda means Prana, nor is it an Upasana. With Prana as the Upasana Yavata. So Siddhanti to what is the Paksha Siddhanti Paksha? Brahmadi. The section itself is understanding of Brahma, where Bhuma is explained. This is the word used for Brahma. And why is Bhuma being taught when the questioner says Tarati Shokam Atma Vita Iti Shrutam? So that time the question is about Atma because the person who wants to know, uh, who knows Atma crosses over grief. And I am grieving, says the Shishya. You cross me over grief makes the request, the Shishya makes the request to the Guru. Therefore, what is the context? The context is Atma Jnana. Bhuma is taught as an answer to that question. In the end, Bhuma is taught. Chetra Nanyat Pashyati Ityadi and then Then this Bhuma is Nalpe Sukamasti. So there, Yoi Bhuma Tanamurtam. All these mantras are there. Yoi Bhuma Tat Sukam. Nalpe Sukamasti. So that which is Bhuma, that which is limitless alone is Sukha. And that Sukha is your Swarupa. Thereby Tarati Shokam. Atma with. Atma with. Then Bhuma with. So Bhuma with means Atma with. Question about Atma is answered with Bhuma. Therefore, Bhuma has to mean Atma. And it cannot be Prana because Bhuma has been taught to be beyond Prana. It has been taught later after Prana has been taught as superior to mind, etc. And this Bhuma is Amruta. Atma is Amruta. Therefore, Brahmadhi, Brahmadhi, that Atma is Brahma, taught by the Bhuma Shabda. Bhuma Shabda. So, Siddha Ante to Brahmadhi and the Phala Veda. That is the difference in the Prayojana. Shandogya Shuryate. In Shandogya, in Bhuma Vidya, what is heard? Bhuma Atpya Vidit Nyasitavya Iti Bhuma Nambahu Vidit Nyasahiti. Yatra Nanyat Pashyati Ityadi. And the mantra goes up. Yatra Nanyat Pashyati, Nanyat Shrunoti. So that where that Yatra is there, Yasmin Avasthayam, uh, Yasyam Avasthayam, or Yasmin Sthito. Again, still by Yasyam Sthito. So, That state, if at all it can be called as a state, jnana avasthayam, yasyam jnana avasthayam, then one knows, because there one knows this entity superior to prana called bhuma, which is brahmatma, as oneself, which is freeing one from all sorts of grief. What is that jnana sthana? Yatra na anyat pashyati na anyat shrunoti ityadi. So where one does not see anything, does not hear anything. Kena kam pashya. So with kena kam shruniyat. With what will one see what? Through what? or through which karna will one see anything else which karma which karma which vishaya will one see through which karna because this karta is no longer karta he is an akarta he has dissociated himself from all the upadhis Therefore, he cannot have any karna for any jnana of any vishaya, whether it is chakshur vishaya, chakshur indriya vishaya or whether it is uh, 
ಶ್ರವಣೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ವಿಷಯ ಪ್ರಾಣೇಂದ್ರಿಯ ವಿಷಯ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ವಿಡ್ರಾನ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಕಾಗ್ನೇಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ನಾನ್ಯ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಭೂಮಾತ್ವೇವ ವಿಧಿಜ್ಞಾಸಿತವ್ಯ ದಟ್ ಭೂಮ ಅಲೋನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ನೋನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ವಾರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎಂಡ್ ನೋನ್ ಇತಿ ಭೂಮಾನ ಭಗವ ವಿಧಿಜ್ಞಾಸ so the request has been made you teach me this bhuma then if that bhuma is sukha roopa nalbe sukham asti yo ei bhuma tat sukham then you teach me that then yatra nanyat pasyati ityadi ending with that there is a mantra so tatra kim pranah bhuma uta parmatma iti sandehe if that bhuma stands for prana or parmatma when such a doubt is there prana iti purva paksha the purva pakshi says prana is the meaning of bhuma siddhantastu bhuma parmatma eva siddhanti says that bhuma cannot stand for anyone but parmatma kutaha asmat karanat what is the reason samprasadat adhiupadeshat because there is a teaching of that entity which is after this samprasada prana susupti avastha prana that prana which is the same prana which is there in shushupti avastha also there is no separate prana in shushupti avastha but in shushupti avastha also it is there and that is where the prana seems to be the most superior deity but the upanishad says no don't stop there there is someone superior based on whose adesha prana does his job elsewhere mrityur dhavati panchamaha even mrityu yamaraja also who is kala who is kalasya api kala kalasya api kala is really brahma that kalasya api kala he is taught in the other upanishad by saying that mrityur dhavati panchamaha all his devatas also run around surya does his job ityadi but then this consumer of even surya adi devatas who is called as kala yamaraja mrityu who is an upasechana for this entity that entity is you brahmatma similarly here prana who is the most superior even when the sharira as do dies because it's a nitya pralaya where the stool and shukshma shariras are resolved in that nitya pralaya even then the prana which is active this entity is superior to even that prana samprasada adyupadesha samyak prasidati asmin jeevah iti samprasadah samprasadat is panchami of samprasada what is samprasada samyak prasidati asmin jeevah into this entity ji jeeva resolves what is that shushupti avastha jeeva jeeva resolves because resolution is as though again jeeva does not really resolve the jeeva jeevatva bhava resolves that is called as jeeva resolves because jeeva is atma but then who is jeeva only when associated with upadhi becomes a jeeva there is a karana upadhi there not karya upadhi karya upadhi is jeeva therefore karya upadhi not being there karya being resolved there cannot be karya upadhi therefore jeeva has karana upadhi not karya upadhi and karana upadhi by definition is ishvara so he has merged into ishvara there that ishvara being one ishvara has no function to do there for this jeeva at least in aneka jeevada thereby ishvara is brahma there in the karana everything is resolved in the avidya karana sharira the abhimani there for all jeeva samashti level it is ishvara antaryami so samya prasidati asmin jeeva iti samprasadah shushupti avastha that samprasadhi shushupti avastha in this shushupti avastha jeeva is resolved tasyam pranah jagarati iti samprasada shabdena prano abhidiyate so there prana 
he is waking. Jiva does not have individuality, therefore there is no Jiva separate, but Prana is there separate. He wakes, he is wide awake, keeping the body alive, because if Prarabdha is not over, after the prayer there will be again Nitya Shrishti and this Jiva will be dragged. When his Prarabdha is active, when his Prarabdha is over, he will go to Sushupti Avastha. Even if he tries to sleep, Prarada is not over, then there will be no sleep. He will be rolling on the bed, but there won't be any sleep. There will be suffering. Why? Because he is not doing the karma which is due on that day and he is trying to run away, running away from Prarada. The Prarada drags this person out of even a wink of sleep and then pulls him back into waking state because the at least the antakarna has to have suffering, the vritti of suffering, dukkha of not being able to sleep. Many of us have such experience. Some are blessed with you know falling asleep as soon as they lie in the bed because prarabdha is over. So when the prarabdha is again active for the next day, no matter what time this fellow will be dragged out of the sleep, sleep and then tied to his upadis. Thereby, <coughs> tasyam pranaha jagarti di samprasara shabdena prano abhidiyate. Anyway, just uh, this, uh, since I was talking about the prarabdha and not being over and all that, it uh, brings back the memory of that uh, bhokturuttam that I had mentioned in the earlier patha. So I had said that uh, bhokturuttam, since it has a trich pratya, from vyakrana drishti it is Kartari Pratya, therefore that Bhukta is also Karta. But this is all, uh, you know, for inquiry I had mentioned that, but if you look at it from Shastra's, Vedanta's perspective where Karta and Bhukta being one, the Karta rule and Bhukta rule are separate, they are, the reason is that there is no Manasika Karma of the Bhukta. In the, who is a Bhukta, who is having Sukha and Dukkha, based on his being karta earlier. So that is a bhokta. So there he is a shuddha bhokta, meaning he is not, he does not have a choice there. The choice that I mentioned that the person has choice of being a bhokta or not, that was only in the circumstances which I was mentioning with an example of sweet, which is a phala of the karma that one has done earlier. Therefore, one has got the sukha bhoga phala that Sukha Bhoga Phala in the form of circumstances where one has an opportunity to partake of it, there one has a choice of whether to do Bhoga of a Stula Vastu and thereby get a Sukshma Sukha Vritti, that is Bhoga. But in the Shastra, the Bhoga is that Sukha Vritti. Whether or not he partakes of it, there is Bhoga Sukha. So even in the Tyaga, there is more Bhoga without become a, becoming a Bhokta. So if one does tyaga of that circumstantial bhoga which has come without even making an effort in the recent past, if one does tyaga of that, there is more sukha. In partaking of that which one likes, there is sukha. But if one does tyaga of that, then one has ten times more sukha, says the Taitari Upanishad itself. So it shall all be linked up. In that context it has come up. So I mentioned it. But uh, since there was a question, I didn't want that confusion to be there as to what I meant by uh, Bhokta being a Karta. In the Shastra, there is Karta, Bhokta when it is discussed. And Karta is different, Bhokta is different. Bhokta is not a Karta there. The Bhokta is one who has association only with this Sukha Dukha Vritti in the Antakarana. That is a Bhokta. Who is non-different from the Karta because Phala cannot be given to someone else by an unbiased, neutral Ishwara. So the Phala is to the same Karta in the past. It can be immediate past, it can be long gone past, it can be Paroksha in that sense that earlier Janma also, it can be earlier many Janmas also back, one may have done some Karma, the Phala is given now. Anyway, so that's an aside. 
सो संप्रसाद शब्द है प्राणों भी दे प्राणा दधि देवर संप्रसाद अधि ऊपरी मींस प्राणा दधि सो प्राणों उपदेशा अंतरम इट इस दी टीचिंग उपदेशा इस अधि ऊपरी आफ्टर अनंतरम आफ्टर दी टीचिंग ऑफ प्राण सो प्राणों उपदेश प्राणों उपदेशा प्राणों उपदेशा अंतरम प्राणों उपदेशा अनंतरम इस इट इस आफ्टर दी टीचिंग ऑफ प्राण व्हाट इज़ दैट टीचिंग एश दुवादी वदती यस सत्य नाती वदती इति तू शब्देर प्राणवादस्य अनतिवादित्वम अभिधाय सो वन हु डस प्राणवादा सेइंग दैट प्राणा इज़ दी मोस्ट सुपीरियर दैट पर्सन इज़ नॉट अनतिवादी अतिवादी ही ही डस नॉट नो इनफ़ सो ही कीप्स ऑन टॉकिंग एस डू ही नोज़ एवरीथिंग बट ही डस नॉट � so tasya pranavadasya, that pranavada is not, here vadi is not mentioned, but pranavadasya, the pranavada itself is not ativada because there is something beyond that. Ativaditvam pranavada vade nasti, pranavade ativaditvam nasti, where is it that ativaditvam is there only in satya brahma, bhuma. तो सत्य शब्द वाच्य परमात्म वादस्य अतिवादित्वम् भूवता। So having अभिदाय having mentioned having stated अनतिवादित्वम् of प्राणवादा by two शब्द। Where is that two शब्द? एश तु वा वै। Indeed this आत्मा एश आत्मा और भूमा तु that two शब्द शुद्ध। Where has however to contrast with what has gone by earlier Compared to all of that, two shabdas is that Eshaha, Bhuma or Atma, Vai, indeed, Ativadati, Yaha Satyena Ativadati, yeah, sorry, Esha is not a Bhuma there, Esha, Esha, that Atma with, who is that Atma with? Eshaha, one who, Vai, indeed, Ativadati, one who Ativadati, who is that, who can make Ativada, who knows this Bhuma Vidya, so one who has this Bhuma Vidya, अतिवदती यह सत्य न अतिवदती and there it is said how does he know this भूमि because सत्य भूमि ही सत्य सत्य न अतिवदती he has basis in सत्य he सत्य न there is he is grounded very very much in सत्य and through that सत्य he is speaking that सत्य is ब्रह्मा भूमा इति तू शब्द देना प्राणवादस्य अनतिवादी तुम अभी था because प्राणा is not सत्य you can extend and say it, it is mithya. Everything other than satya is mithya. What is satya? Brahma alone is satya. Because Rakshana is satyam brahma. Wherever you see satya, you say prana is satya is existent. Because in Sujukti Avastha also, when jiva is as though non-existent, jiva tvam is not there. Even then prana is there. But that prana is not satya. It is mithya. So, Satya Shabda Vachya Para, Vachya, who is the Vachya Artha of Satya Shabda? It is Brahma alone, Paramatma alone. So, Satya Shabda Vachya, Satya Iti Shabda Yena, Yaha Vachya Ha Paramatma, Tasya Vadha, Tasya Vadha Se Ati Vaditu. So, Satya Shabda Vachya is Paramatma and Paramatma Vadha, the teaching of Paramatma there is the highest. So, Ativaditvam Bhruvata Bhumnaha Eva Upadishya Manatvath. So, through that Satya Shabda, who has been taught, Bhuma has been taught. And that Bhuma has to mean Paramatma because it has been taught through Satya Shabda. So, Bhumna Eva Upadishya Manatvath. Bhuma alone is being taught as Brahma through Satya Shabda. तरज शोक मात्र इति इति प्रश्नवाक्य आत्मो बक्रमेण आत्म प्रकरणात् प्राण सन्निधेर दुर्वलतया न प्राणो भूमा परमात्मा ये वैति सिद्धम् सुदेव तो सूत्र अर्था वे शीन एस व्हाट भूमा इज प्राण तो सॉरी इज नॉट प्राण इज ब्रह्म सो भूमा भूमा ब्रह्म ये वो नाउ हियर व्हाट हैज बीन सेड तरती शोक मात्मवित इस दी उपक्रमा सर प्रश्नवाक्य ऑफ दी शिष्या नारदमुनि 
देशोकम आत्म प्रश्नवाक्य इन दट प्रश्नवाक्य स्टेटमेंट ऑफ दट क्वेश्चन आत्म उपक्रमेण आत्म प्रकरण आत्मा इज ए प्रकरण बिकॉज इट हेडी प्रकरण इज वॉट आत्मा बिकॉज तरती शोकम आत्म विथ इज उपक्रम वेर इन उपक्रम आत्म उपक्रम मंत्र आत्म शब्द इज हेर दत्म शब्द इज ए प्रकरण आत्मा इज ए प्रकरण आत्म उपक्रम क्रमेण आत्म प्रकरण आत्मा इज ए प्रकरण एंड प्राण इज ए सन्निधि प्राण सन्निधि दुर्बलतया कंपेर टू दि आत्म प्रकरण विच हेज बीन सेट बाय दि ओपनिंग प्रश्न प्राण टू कंक्लूड दि मंत्रार्थ और दि अर्थ ऑफ दि एंटायर से तात्पर्य तात्पर्य ऑफ आत्म शब्द हेज टू बी understood that atma which is to be known being the prakarna and sannidhi of prana by the puro pakshi that puro pakshi is looking at prana as the meaning or the teaching there as upasya devata that is the sannidhi sannidhi sthana and sthanasya prakarna durbalatvam सन्निधे दुर्बल दुर्बलतया कंपेर टू वॉट प्रकरण श्रुतिलिंग इत्यादि सो इन दैट प्रकरण स्थान सो प्रकरण हेज मोर वेटेज देन सन्निधि इन मीमांसा देर फोर सन्निधि स्थान कंपेर टू स्थान कंपेर टू प्रकरण स्थान इज दुर्बल मीनिंग कंपेर टू सन्निधि स्थान प्रकरण इज सुपीरियर Uh, is stronger to determine the meaning of the granthata atparya vishaya therefore the puro pakshi's claim based on sthana is not is not right na prano bhuma so prana is being the meaning of bhuma is set aside because you have a stronger pramana for that prakarana is there so prakarana shows atma is a context and atma stands for atma which stands for bhuma bhuma being taught atma being asked atma and bhuma are the same entities and that bhuma is brahma parmatma eva iti siddham so bhuma is pra, not prana but parmatma eva brahma eva iti siddham parmatmano bhumatve yuktyantarama In the same Bhumadi Karana, the next sutra establishes as through a yukti, through logic, as to why Bhuma should stand for uh, Bhuma Bhuma Shakyaartha. Bhuma's Vachyaartha has to be Paramatma. No Lakshana Ichyadi is needed. Bhuma stands for Paramatma. Another meaning, it's a synonym for Paramatma. Why so? Dharmo bhaktiyesha, dharmo bhaktiyesha. So dharmo bhakti hai, cha. And also meaning Bhuma means Paramatma. Also due to dharmo bhakti. Also due to the dharma, dharma, the, the dharma upapatti we have seen many times. Here it is a sutra ka. It is mentioned that due to the upapatti, tenability of dharmas applying only to brahma, the dharmas of bhuma which have been discussed as an answer to the question on atma, all those dharmas will apply only to paramatma brahma and not to prana. उक्ता 
इत्यादीना उक्तानम सर्व व्यवहार भावादी धर्माणाम ऑल दीज धर्मान विच हैव बीन टॉक्ड अबाउट वेयर सर्व व्यवहार अभाव इज देयर दी श्रवण व्यवहार दर्शन व्यवहार ऑल दीज व्यवहार आर नॉट देयर दे आर पॉसिबल ओनली इन परमात्मा नॉट इन प्राण सो देयर पूर्व पक्षी कैन से संभवती प्राण से अभी अत्र अन्यत पश्चदी इत्यादि सो इफ पूर्व पक्षी से इज दैट न अन्यत पश्चदी इज पॉसिबल इन प्राण आल्सो हाउ सो बिकॉज इन सुषुप्ति अवस्था देयर prana is there in sushupti avastha and then this prana being there in sushupti avastha and this darshan kriya shravan kriya all of these not being there in the sushupti avastha therefore in prana there is no darshan shravan ityadi kriya therefore yatra namya prashyati can also apply to prana this is an this is a possibility says the puro pakshi so bhagwan bhashyakara discusses this so he says if that is so in siddhanti says if that is so then what about sukha this sukha is not limited sukha prashna upanishad Also says, शांतों के ऊपर इसे से यो ये भूमात अचुकम नालपे सुपम अस्ति। So there can it not be प्राणा से इस जी पूरो पक्षी। Why can't this सुखा स्वरूपा not be प्राणा? Because in शुष्कति there is सुखा। Nobody denies that. Even you the Vedanti does not deny. And if you need uh, if you need प्रमाणा यत्रे पूर्वपक्ष तो पूर्व पक्षी कैन से दैट सुखा इज देयर इन सुषुप्ति अवस्था प्राणा इज देयर एंड देयर इज नो श्रवण दर्शन क्रिया व्हाई कांट दिस धर्मास अप्लाई टू प्राणा व्हाई शुड दे अप्लाई ओनली टू परमात्मा व्हाट अबाउट अमृत धर्म इफ दी सिद्धांत इवन टू आस्क प्राणो वा अमृतम एल्सवेयर देयर इज कोर्ट ने प्रोटेशन दे सो यो वही भूमा तर अमृतम इफ यू कोर्ट छांदो के ऊपर इशत देन पूरो पक्षी से दाल कोर्ट यू प्राणो वा अमृतम भविष्य के ऊपर इशत हैज दिस मंत्रा सो प्राणा इज आल्सो अमृतम सो देर भगवान भाष्यकार सेज दैट ऑल दिस धर्मान विच आर टॉक अबाउट प्राणा यू आर कोर्टिंग एल्सवेर ऑल दिस आर ब्रह्म their prana word does not stand for prana shabdata prana has been said but lakshana has to be done prana does not cannot stand for prana even in that kaushitika upanishad or prashna upanishad prana stands for brahma or you have to go further in in prashna upanishad and look at beyond sushupti what is there beyond sushupti also there is tulya avastha which is there Beyond in the sense it is not a fourth avastha but it is that avastha which is there in all three avasthas jagrat swapna shushupti where this turiya atma is the sukha swarup atma which is imparting sukha in all avasthas this sukha anubhava that you have in jagrat avastha is the same that you have in swapna avastha due to attaining something which is लाइक बाय यू इन स्वप्न दैट स्वप्न विषय विच इज डिजायर्ड इफ वन अटेन्स इन स्वप्न देन वन गेट दैट सुखा दैट सुखा इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दी जागृत सुखा विच इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम 
Shushupti Asta Sukha, it is just a manifestation of that same Sukha which has been veiled in Shushupti Avastha. Only a part of that is available to have Anubhava of in Shushupti Avastha also, which is not different from Atma Sukha, which is its own Swarupa, which is one's own Swarupa. So the Swarupa Sukha manifests in Shushupti not being not being taken away from because there are no vishayas whether it is swapna or jagrat vishayas such vishayas are not there in shushupti avastha therefore one is not taken away from one's own swarupa sukha but it is still veiled not completely anubhuta that shushupti ananda is misunderstood as the shushupti avastha gata Ananda or Pranas Ananda, it is not Pranas Ananda, it is not Shushupti Avastha Ananda, but it is Atma Ananda alone. Therefore, here, although it is not discussed here, it is good to look at that. So, Sarva Vyavahara Abhava is possible in Prana, is the Purva Paksha, but Sarva Vyavahara Abhava is not really possible in Prana. So it is all Atma or Brahma, Bhuma, therefore Sarva Dharma, which are discussed, all of those, so Sarva has to be taken. If you say some dharmas are possible, we will say okay. It may be a misunderstanding, but we will say okay. If I agree here hypothetically, Abhyupagamavada, still all dharmas are not going to be possible. All the dharmas that you quote from other Upanishads also won't be possible in Prana. Therefore, Paramatma eva upapatte Paramatma eva bhuma ityartha. So, bhuma shabdartha is Paramatma alone. Purum satya shabdasya brahmani runatva dhuma brahma ityuktam. Earlier, this satya shabda stands for brahma. Kutra runatva that rudhi is there in Shastra. Satyam Jnana Manantam Brahma. So therefore Satya Shabda is Rudha, is used in Brahma. It is commonly known, Prasiddha. Shastra Prasiddhi Asti. Therefore Bhuma has been discussed as Satya Nati Vadati. There Bhuma has been discussed as Bhuma is discussed as Satya. Through Satya it is discussed and that person is an Ati Vadi. So, Bhuma has to stand for Brahma because Satya cannot be true. Brahma's Lakshana is Satya, meaning wherever there is Satya, that is Brahma. So, if Bhuma is Satya, then Bhuma is Brahma. Just like if you say sugar is sweet, so Lakshana of sugar is sweet. Wherever there is sweetness, that belongs to sugar. Even if you don't perceive sugar there, there is sugar. Tadvat ihapi. Similarly, here also see the Pura Pushi in the context Tadvat ihapi akshar shabdasya. So there in Brahadarnika Upanishad, akshar vidya is there. So this akshar shabda which has been used by Yajna Valkya to teach Gargi as an answer to a question, Tadvat ihapi akshar shabdasya. There ihapi in the sense in Brahadarnika Upanishad. Akshara Shabdasya Varne Rudatvad Varna Eva Akshara Mastuviti Drishtanta Sangatya Idamaha This is Akshara Shabda. What does it mean by Akshara? Akshara means Varna. Akshara means a letter. Since the Rudhi, Rudhyartha of Akshara Shabda is Varna, where Akshara in Gradharanika Upanishad should mean Varna, not Brahma, whereas Siddhanti claims that Akshara is Brahma. Pura Bhakshi says, Satya Shabda by Rudi means Brahma. So earlier you said that Rudi Artha is Brahma in Upanishad. Therefore, Brahma should be the meaning of Satya Shabda. Now, 
अक्षर शब्द है द रूली अर्थ ऑफ वर्ण वाई डोंट यू यूज द सेम लॉजिक एंड कंक्लूड दैट वर्णा इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अक्षरा देयर इन विरधारणिका वाई डू यू टेक इट फर्दर एंड से दैट ब्रह्मा इज द मीनिंग दिस इज दृष्टांत संगत इज गिविंग एन एग्जांपल फ्रॉम योर ओन इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ छांदो के मंत्र एंड देन ही सेज एग्जेम्प्लीफाइड एज द विरधारणिका सेम लॉजिक of drishtanta you use in the darshtantika brahad mantra also and interpret brahad mantra through rudhi yakshar shabda in brahad mantra through rudhi just like you have done so in the chandogya upanishad through rudhi with satya shabda thereby akshara adikaranam starts aksharam ambarant dhritehe aksharam ambarant dhritehe so aksharam धारणांग so ending with ambara akasha uh, ambara is actually uh, you can mean uh, vastara also but here the entire akasha what is this akasha aadhara into which is this akasha woven as do otascha protascha टूगेदर सो ऑल दिस यू नो इट्स Uh, it's an akshepa which is uh, which is meaningless if you look at it but it can be meaningful from the guru pakshi's angle because he is saying this is the upasana akshara is omkara omkara roopa upasana says the guru pakshi so it is meaningless from our angle because how can there be this dhriti of uh, akasha guru pakshi said it is possible in upasana सो अत्र पूर्वपक्षे ओंकार रूप अक्षरोपास्ति दैट अक्षरा इज ओंकार एंड अनटू दैट ओंकार वन हैज टू डू उपासना ऑन दैट ओंकार रूप अक्षर वन हैज टू डू उपासना सिद्धांति ब्रह्मज्ञानम इति फल भेद व्हाट इज दी सिद्धांति से इन सिद्धांति से इट इज नॉट उपासना अगेन इट इज ज्ञान कांड एंड इट इज ब्रह्मज्ञान देयर अक्षरा स्टैंड्स फॉर ब्रह्म बृहदारण्य के गार्गीं प्रति याज्ञवल्क्य आह सो गार्गी आस क्वेश्चन एंड टू हर याज्ञवल्क्य आंसर इट्स अ विद्वत सभा वेयर गार्गी इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग दिस आई विल वी फिनिश दिस मंत्र एंड स्टॉप बट देयर इज अ इंटरेस्टिंग सिनेरियो देयर बैकग्राउंड टू दिस मंत्र so where in that vidvat sabha uh, if you uh, know the context uh, the king has announced that i will give a thousand cows with gold ornamentation covered with gold to one who is the best who is the knower of brahma who knows the best who wins over this and yajnavalkya comes with his students and says even before the debate or anything he just says take away the cows he says there is no better more than me and then people start asking what is this all of the participants say why is it that you take away the cows without even having a debate with us yajnavalkya says it is i mean what kind of ego is this he says it's not an ego I mean, I know Brahma, but 
that's a that's a topic i said i really need the cows so he said i really need the cows therefore i am asking the shishyas to take these cows i will have a debate with you that's not an issue but he says i need the cows so very uh, funny kind of an opening there into the debate and then he answers all the questions of all of the vidwans there then they keep on asking they are tired they are exhausted of questions and they are trying to bring up some questions to trap yadnya valka and yadnya valka says stop your questions here if you ask more more than this this is the limit of the questions you are unable to think further this is the limit of your imagination also so stop there otherwise if you try to imagine more your head will fall off in chandogya there are a lot of these places where you know there is a statement that your head will fall off meaning do not ask it's an arthavada so their gargi says i want to ask two questions i'll ask only two questions and in fact she says that even if other vidwans who have not not asked question they need not ask so she asks permission to ask two questions and she says if you can answer these two questions then we will all agree she speaks on behalf of the entire sabha because she thinks that they have exhausted questions and they can't ask what i can ask so she also has that ego she says i'll ask these two questions if you can answer these then you have won over and then all of them agree yajnavel ke agrees now her way of asking is quite quite a trap so she asks a question about brahman which cannot be talked about now if bhagwan yajnavel ke answers the question he will have vipratipatti dosha meaning he will answer he have answered and talked about that brahma which cannot be talked about because it is nirguna brahma which is not the vachartha you are answering and therefore it's a dosha you have lost and if at all you do not answer then anyway you lose by apratipatti so she uses this uh, tarkika's method of asking a question to make sure that the opponent fails one way or the other if he answers he fails ubhay pasha rajju if he does not answer also he fails and loses thereby she asks this question now look at the answer also when she asks a question ब्रह्मारण्य के गार्गीम प्रति याज्ञवल क्या हाँ याज्ञवल क्या उन्हीं आंसर्स इस क्वेश्चन एस एते द्वितीय रक्षणम गार्गी ब्राह्मणा अभिवादन चस्तुलम इत्यादि सो अस्तुलम अनन्दु ऑल दिस ही कीप्स ऑन डिस्क्राइबिंग ब्रह्मा एंड व्हाट डज ही से इफ ही एस आंसर्ड ही वुड हैव फेल्ड बाय फेल्ड दी टेस्ट बिक� but his discussion is not astula ananu it is not stula neti neti kind of a description but even if that is the description if there is a claim that you have failed because you have answered that which cannot be answered that brahma is akshara then etad vai this akshara etad vai tad aksharam this is that akshara o gargi which brahmanas talk about he has answered in a very smart manner he says this is how brahmanas say brahmanas talk about that i do not say that so i am answering your question by paraphrasing them so if you have a if you say that somebody has failed then you have to make an aropa on brahmanas which you can't make therefore he has answered the question and does not have the apratipatti dosha and having answered the question by quoting brahmanas he does not have vipratipatti dosha also ityadi but what is the meaning of the mantra itself aksharam that etad vai tat that brahma is etad this akshara itself and what is akshara 
तत्र किम अक्षर शब्देन वर्ण उच्यते उत ब्रह्म इति संदेह वर्ण इति पूर्व पक्ष पूर्व पक्ष इज दैट इज अ लेटर वर्ण अक्षर मीन्स वर्ण लेटर बट एंड लेटर इज नॉट विच लेटर ओंकार एंड देयर फॉर इट इज ओंकार उपासना सिद्धांत दिस इज नो ब्रह्म परमात्मा इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अक्षर व्हाई सिद्धांत अस्तु न अक्षरति इति अक्षरम ब्रह्म एव न अक्षरति दैट व्हिच डज नॉट सीज टू बी दैट व्हिच डज नॉट डिप्लीट इट इज ओनली दैट अनंत ब्रह्म अनंत अलोन कैन हैव नो क्षय सो न क्षरति कैन नॉट हैव एनी क्षर इट कैन नॉट हैव एनी क्षय कुतः अंबरांत श्रुते हे बिकॉज द टीचिंग गोस फर्दर एज व्हाट धारणाधारणपोषणिंग the entire prapancha prithvi beginning with prithvi prithviyadi and akashanta ending with akasha ambaranta ambara akashanta the entire vikara vikara jata says entire jata is there is group entire vikara jata and vikaranam jata that jata is what vikaranam jatam that the entire group tasya what is group vikara is karya karya the prapancha sya prapancha Which is that prapancha? Prithviya the akashanta prapancha. That vikara karya is held together. Tasya vikara jata se prapancha se dharana. The entire prapancha is held by this akshara. That akshara cannot be anything else but Brahma. Omkar also really stands for Brahma. Pura pakshi may not know. Because in Kato Upanishad itiyadi in Gita also that Omkara is a name for Brahma, but it is not a Upasana here. Brahma di is there, so Omkara also, if you say Akshara, that Omkara being Akshara also it is Brahma. Although this Omkara is not discussed here, Akshara has been discussed. We can directly take it to Brahma. There is no need to bring in Omkara there. Therefore, in this Etasmin alu kalu Akshare, indeed. ओ गार्गी इन दिस अक्षरा नु ओनली इन दिस अक्षरा इज आकाशा ओतह प्रोतह लाइक वोवन टुगेदर लाइक अ क्लॉथ क्लॉथ इज वोवन टुगेदर इन द थ्रेड्स द थ्रेड्स आर और आर थ्रेड्स आर पुट टुगेदर एंड देन द क्लॉथ इज हेल्ड इन दोस थ्रेड्स सिमिलरली द एंटायर पृथ्वी आदि इज Akashanta, entire prapancha is held together, woven together in this entity, which is Brahma. Aadhara is Brahma. Earlier also we have seen it cannot be anything else. We'll uh, see the next two try the same adhikarana in the next part. Ha. Amra na te kusam siddham adi madhyanto jitam ananda dharma apurna matme jyoti upasmahe sat. Namaste. Thank you, Madam.